we're back again with another video yes guys um it's um it's your boy hey crispin and today i have with me once again georgia Dog. and today we also have another interesting topic which is gonna like wait what is gonna happen today if we talk about this topic like, what do you think is gonna happen this topic is gonna be another very interesting you guys one. are going to murder me we will see if we are going to murder you today. I'm drunk, you're not. Made it on another level, about to leave the spots. Ripping shit down off the walls in the party. But I'm in the back, posted so nobody really know this lie. I don't know how. Welcome, on, guys. As I said earlier on, we're going to be talking about something, something so interesting today with my girl here. So, um, today, <laughs> our topic for today is um, Do you think abortion should be legalized? Georgia, we're gonna be in fact debating about it today. So, Georgia, how was your week? I had a very interesting one, okay. productive. Okay, it was good overall. What did I do during the week? I, of course, I'm schooling, and my church had a seven day fast, so I was fasting as well. The whole oh. week, and there's Holy Spirit in the room. <laughs> So yeah, I was just studying, doing assignments, participating in group works. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, well mine was same old story. I mean nothing has changed, but I give all the thanks to God. Um so today we're gonna be talking about abortion. Georgia, mm -hmm. what is your take on abortion? Oh. Yeah. I think this is a very sensitive topic. Like when you when you mention abortion. A lot of things come into mind but the first thing that any normal human being would think of when you say abortion is killing, killing the baby killing anyone killing the baby. when you say abortion like people think you you know <laughs> it has to do with blood like oh she has done an abortion so she's a murderer yeah you know that kind of thoughts an assassinate okay. So, like in general, when you when you mention an abortion, what comes to mind is like taking away a life, mm -hmm. a life you are supposed to bring into the world, and yeah. So, wow. Well, I mean, uh, yes, you are. I could say you are right, okay. but then again, um, why do you think somebody will like would want to go through an abortion act? Like, what do you think? Why the would people were so um? somebody might go for an abortion for many reasons okay the number one being that they are not ready that's the the most common um excuse that a lot of people give when you ask them mm -hmm. why do you want to abort this child all right so um yeah the, the number one uh, reason why people would go and then um, do an abortion is because they are not ready it came because um of let's say carelessness or out of having fun out of not being watchful and so for that reason they have no for that they have no reason to keep the child okay but so, if if you are saying that okay my problem is why would you go and do something if you know that you, you are not like ready is there no protection why would you i mean pregnancy is like you know that one plus one is it equals to two yes. so why would you want to do one plus one i mean right guys you can well, actually have um protection and use why do you wanna you see oh accidents <laughs> things do happen okay things do happen it's not as if there are no protections or anything but i also think that sometimes the protections do fail this well, doesn't really happen like out of one out of hundred you find that somebody will tell you i was on protection but it just didn't work okay somebody too will tell you oh it was a mistake um we didn't mean to we were using a tactic yeah you know and this tactic failed us <laughs> so guys yeah yeah that's also a reason and it's not because there are no protections of course a lot of countries give that for free and it's not even expensive in some other countries yeah but then again i say out of carelessness one one can be careless one can take the wrong pill or 
take the pill at the wrong time one can forget to even you yeah. know be in the right um period of time to go into uh, such an act and therefore it will lead to pregnancy and yeah. you ha you you'd find out that okay i'm not ready for this baby so let me go and abort so this is an instance this is one instance where somebody would go in for an abortion interesting interesting right my ears and seats are glued to this conversation okay, okay guys we'll be right back okay <laughs> So, Georgia has made it known that um, some of the reasons why an abortion could take place is when, for example, you want to have sex, um, maybe you're not protected, you're not ready in terms of condoms and contraceptive, and you, like, you just get crazy and wow and like gaga, and you go in for a fun and then unwanted pregnancy comes. Abortion is one of the options that you actually think of. So, that's very good and I didn't even know this, but now I know. So, um, now you know. Yes. Well, now I know. I, I knew, but I didn't know until you confirmed it. Now I know it. So let's think about this. Uh, and so let's just say our wanted pregnancy is one of the reasons why we go for an abortion, right? Yeah. And what do you think is the next one? I think is also an, like a reason or a factor why a girl or a lady will, or a woman will decide that I don't want this pregnancy. I really want to go for an abortion. Um. Okay. Mm hmm. Another another reason could be that um, this uh, baby or this lady uh, who happens to be the carrier of the child is in um, a bad financial state. You know, most of these ladies are really young. Mm -hmm. They are not really ready to be mothers. You know, so you know, in terms of not um, having um, a job not working not married uh, not mentally physically it's financially stable. emotionally stable to um, be a mother or stay alive or nurture a child mm -hmm. so such a person can uh, decide or make up her mind you know to go and abort a child wow yeah. that's so true i for this one i really know because you know, I think pregnancy comes with education. Most of people get pregnant and like they don't even know they are pregnant. Yes, I know I have two or three friends who got pregnant. I think they actually got to know that they were pregnant on the fourth month. Wow. They were like, Crispin, I just passed my first tri uh, like trimester. I didn't even know that I was even pregnant. So it could be. Mm -hmm. So I actually believe that one too. Mm -hmm. And um, so we talked about uh, our wanted pregnancy for mm -hmm. for abortion. Yeah. Yeah. Out of poverty, let's just say poverty mm -hmm. can actually be another another big factor for you to go for an abortion. Yeah. And what next? If in case you know anything next, I mean, I'm so interested in this topic because we guys we don't know these things, but ladies they know all these things. So let us know why you think abortion could actually take place. Okay, so one other reason why I think other other ladies um, go for an abortion is when they don't really know the father of the baby. Yeah, but I mean, it happens. I'm, I'm yeah. not saying this is the reason why most, but someone or at least two out of ten or two out of hundred. I mean, how would you? I mean, how would you go for a somebody and you don't know who is, is responsible for your pregnancy? So this, Does that mean that like the person was just like picking them on the street or picking them on the market or picking them from the school? Not like necessarily. Help me to understand because like. So in this situation, you could you could see that uh, this. This is a person who has more than one um, partner. sex partner. Okay. okay. So um, she might not know who is the father, mm -hmm. and so she might um, maybe let's say let let's assume okay mm -hmm. I I get pregnant okay and then I have you and then some other people mm -hmm. and I don't know who my last left with I can say Chris. How do you? How, I mean wait 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 wait. How is it possible that you don't know who you slept with like the last like it's possible few days happen. or weeks? Don't you watch movies? I you yeah. watch movies. But movie is make believe. Like, you understand? Come on, Georgia. Come of on. Of course, it is made. Try it to is be realistic. To, to believe, but in most of these movies are like real life stories. Do you also know that in Africa, where we come from, okay, okay. we always say that a lady always knows the father of the child. Yes. So but in some, I mean, instance, come on, guys. Think about this. How, in, in how can you shag yourself and like you don't know who got you like knocked off? You know what I mean? Like I mean, in on. some instances, some ladies get confused. Well, I'm surprised it's such can, ladies. Sometimes she knows you are the last person I slept with. Okay. However, when she tells you, mm -hmm. you can deny it. You know. 
You can deny. You I can, still stand. Look, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No, I, I still stand. I still stand <laughs> by the fact me. that I any mean, lady that sleeps with any guy knows the father of, of the child. Of course, she I knows mean, the father of the child, but sometimes she get confused if she has a lot of. Yeah, but listen, me being a guy, if you come to me and say, Crispin, I'm pregnant. Okay. Obviously, if you tell me you're pregnant, it means I did something with you. Okay, so. You you are sure that I am the one. That's why you came to me. But if you come like I'm pregnant, I don't know how. I, I don't know who is responsible. I mean, then it means you uh, like you you got me thinking like oh, okay, I'm not the only person that she's seen. You understand? So okay. I'll start having like second thoughts. I'm like okay, so this girl is here. Look honestly, yeah, you this understand? situation can be very tricky. Let me give you um, an example no, of, I'm of, listening. Of, of a story I once came across. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this was a lady mm -hmm. uh, who was having an affair with a married woman, mm -hmm. a, a married man, mm -hmm. sorry. And this married man happened to be like an office colleague. Okay. So apparently, when she got pregnant, mm -hmm. and the man was denying the, the child. Mm -hmm. Okay, the man was denying the child because it is alleged that the lady was also sleeping with someone else in oh, the office. Wow, drama. <laughs> Do you see? But this lady was very, very certain that this man it's is the father but the man was really denying it so this matter was brought to the court okay the matter was brought to the court and after the dna tests were were made mm -hmm. and stuff um it, it came out that it was the man <laughs> no. it came out it came out that it was the man and the lady was very sure but if this lady wasn't smart enough to take the issue to court the man would, would, would be stronger enough to overshadow or overpower the lady hence the lady would, would, would have no option than to want wow. to go and abort the I mean, child because she was very certain in the, in the beginning you know from the onset that this is the father yeah, but however the father was denying yeah, but listen, and so listen, listen, she listen, did listen, end listen, up listen, frustrated listen. and go and, and abort <laughs> this child yeah but listen I mean hey, there's no sane person that a lady will come to the person and say hey I'm pregnant then you the same lady will go like I I mean you and I know that we know that you were seeing another guy and you want me to accept it. What if it's not me? So in the first place, like like the guy was uh was right. Unfor okay, unfortunately there are a lot of insane men out there. I'm who, one of them. I am not saying I you are, <laughs> but unfortunately, guys, uh -huh. not to be rude or anything, but some guys are really like that, you know. Mm -hmm. He he can deny you when there is trouble. He well, deny you when there is trouble. So ladies yeah. out there, be you know, be on your guard. And guys yeah. out there, be on your guard as well, because I wouldn't want to take care of something that I didn't do. Come on, guys. I mean, okay, so yeah, because I wouldn't want look, to take care of something. There are guys who are not responsible. So um, when it's time to take responsibility, own it. They, they they just they get scared away. The, the 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 responsibility of a child scares men sometimes so sometimes it's not that a man doesn't know he's the father he's okay. just not man enough to own up to his responsibility mm. so he'll end up you know um denying the child from the onset and if you are not strong enough to stand on your ground and say mm -hmm. you are the father you you see that the man will overpower you and then you end up going your way and out of frustration you might want to what abort the child yeah, because you think you are not ready to have it yeah. or you cannot do it on your own so this is another reason not this is did that this doesn't happen commonly sorry sorry but sometimes it does in some some cases like like this one it, it can happen and then the lady in question will feel like okay i'm not ready for this so let me just um, get rid of it. Go and then get rid of it. Kick to the curb. After all, the man is not ready to take responsibility. I, I can't do it all my own. Yeah, but I mean, I, I I understand. I mean, if you're a lady and you get pregnant and like you cannot like like you couldn't father the child. Let's just say the man is uh, like denying the fact that uh, he got you pregnant. Okay, there are single mothers out there. Mm -hmm. Abortion shouldn't be like the right uh, channel. And I mean. These days, you can actually go to the hospital and talk to them. Listen, I'm pregnant, but I have no money to take care of my child. Can I have the baby? Take care of me after the baby. You look for an, a, like an adopted parent. They adopt the baby. Yes. These uh, days, it's also an option. Abortion is not always the option. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Somebody will say that I'm a career woman. I want to. I, I wanted to. Maybe I'm a model. You know, I'm an actress. I'm a celebrity. Yeah. Maybe I was at the peak of my career. So this baby is gonna be like. Um, What's the word? Um, a, a blockage or something. A blockage in my life, okay? Fine. But there's no any sensible lady, I think, out there who would do that. 
go to the hospital, make a research, talk to the people at the hospital, or maybe find a foster parent for your child. Like, hey, I'm pregnant and you know I'm very young. Maybe I'm I cannot afford to take care of a child at this stage in my life. But of course, I know you guys are going through uh what's it called um baby hardship or childbearing hardship. Help me to like finance my my pregnancy uh, journey, you know, after the baby, I can actually adopt the baby to you guys or like give the baby to you before. It's also an option. What do you think about that? That's a very good um, one. But unfortunately, I think that this, um, this idea of yours mm -hmm. could only work in, in abroad or in the... You haven't tried it, in so... The, in the independent... If the lady hasn't in the tried it in Africa... countries, because there are people in some... Um, dependent uh, dependent countries uh -huh. that we all know of mm -hmm. who um, abort babies all the time because they are single mothers and they cannot bring yeah, their I mean, child into and there are no centers for them to go and say I'm pregnant I want to have the child please take care of me and when the child the child comes mm -hmm. adopt the baby it, it 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 this this thing won't work in some parts of Africa <laughs> you and I know. <laughs> You and I know this thing wouldn't work working so some true. part of Africa. This is so true. Unless you come from a rich family, you know. And you're well enlightened. Voila. Or you you happen yeah. to find yourself around good people who are willing to help you do this. Okay. And some, some ladies are not just comfortable with the fact that they will bring the child into the world and not be the one to care of care yeah. care for them. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes even if they allow the child out for adoption, in the long run they will come back demanding custody of the child we always see this all the time we always see this there's, there's, there was recently one <laughs> I, that happened I know, on, on, online yeah, yeah, i'm not going to mention names yeah. but we know how it all ended it yeah, ended in true. tears like <laughs> it shall end in tears <laughs>